Hey, opposing good day, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a Lehigh Valley fan who's beginning of May recap for the first three games of May. They got five remaining on the season. This is going to be the recap of the first three. If you enjoy what you're hearing on the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell for alerts for future videos. It is very helpful as we try to get the subscribers up. And also subscribe to the main channel of the Steel Flyers website, Steel Flyers, as well. Let's get right into it. In the first game of the month, unfortunately, Lehigh Valley... <clears throat> it lost to a very good game by Gil Sen, Binghampton's goalie, uh, where Binghampton Devils have an interesting story. It looks like they won't be as Utica Comets agreed to a deal with the Devils, third minor league affiliate going forward. More will be coming on that in the future if you want to follow that story, but that's just something for AHL fans to pay attention to there. But in this game for the Phantoms, Ratcliffe still stepped up, who's looking pretty good on the ice end of the season. Same with veteran Chris Mueller, who got an assist, and youngsters Aid Wisdom getting an assist as well. And then Max Woodman, who of course got the two-way contract during the weir, stepped up in this game and scored. But in a 4-2 loss, I thought in this game, this was a game that Mac got for the Phantoms. He played fine. It was just Gil Sen played a great game and made 27 saves, and they just were not able to overcome that. That's all it was. This was just a very good performance by Binghampton's goaltender that was able to win them this game 4-2. Uh, to two. Then the next game was another masterful performance, even in a loss, a 2 nothing loss to the Bears. The only reason the Phantoms did not get smoked in this game was because of Felix Sandstrom, who's been on fire of late. He made 40 saves, only let in one goal in this because the other to make it 2-0 was an empty netter. And this was a game that Felix Sandstrom, there's not really much else to say for the Phantoms in this game. Uh, the Birds and others, I guess, um, looked fine in it, but this is a game that Sandstrom really stepped up and played a big-time role um, in this game and was the only reason they did not get smoked in that game. York looked solid in his ice time um, in a game he's going to make his debut tomorrow, but that game was really just a Felix Sandstrom show. They lost 2 nothing, but Sandstrom put on a show yet again. And then in the third game of the month, which was a win against Hershey, the Lehigh Valley fans were able to get a win on another good game led by their net minder field extension who made 34 saves on 37 shots, but the Phantoms were finally able to get their scoring touch going again as they won this game 5-3 to three on goals by young rookie defenseman Linus Hog Hogberg, that some like Appleyard and I agreed with and thought might get a little bit of a cup of coffee by the end of the season. doesn't seem like that would be the case. I also thought Sandstrom would get one. Might not be the case because they already committed to Elliott tomorrow, lie on Saturday, maybe the last game of the season Monday. I would like to see him get a cup of coffee, but we'll see. He's playing very well. Mueller, who I said has been hot as a fire, cracking around at the season, looking good in the edge, was able to get a goal in this one, assisted by Pouillot, who's been good all season for them on defense, and Linus Sandin. Then Tyson Forster, who's just been great all season, said he already wants to make the team next year. It's definitely a high possibility with how he's playing. Was able to get a goal in that one, assisted by rookie Cameron York, who's going to be debuting tomorrow for the Flyers, and Cal O'Reilly, who of course met the 500 assist mark. Uh, just recently to break a milestone there for him, only the 10th guy to do that. And then York was able to get a goal of his own, so he had an assist and a goal in his final game before coming up. Um, that was assisted by Tyson Forster and goalie Felix Sandstrom. And then you had Cal O'Reilly, who hit that form aforementioned assist milestone, getting net a goal, assisted by Ryan Fitzgerald, who came back recently off injury, and Tyson Forster. So it's great to see Fitzgerald, who's been doing good all season, coming back and doing well now, too. O'Reilly's been good all season, same with Mueller. Those guys are rounding out seasons as veterans, very good. And then Tyson Forster, the youngster, along with Wisdom, along with Wilman, are all doing very well, as well as guys like Logan Day, who you signed to keep with the Phantom. It's all good signs moving to next year. Felix Sandstrom is as hot as a firecracker when you want to see him. He got consistent playing time. Now he's playing well. So even though the Phantoms lost two out of the three, there's a lot of good signs you saw from this start of May, especially uh, first and foremost, Felix Sandstrom being a guy that's really stepped up in net and has been a brick wall of late and is the only reason they didn't get killed in that one Hershey game and has really stepped up to potentially be a guy that's going to be your starter and then get some NHL time next year if your backup, whoever the backup to heart is next year, if it's still already or whoever, gets injured or what have you. He seems like he's getting close to being ready to do that. But I hope you all enjoyed this quick about 4 minute and 50 second reaction to the start of May games for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. They are coming into the next game that they're playing Hershey, a big game for the Pennsylvania Cup. The Phantoms, of course, still have a good chance 
at that if they're able to beat Hershey and Hershey loses some games here to round out their schedule, which I will preview tomorrow in the preview to the rest of the week for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. So stay tuned for that. Have a great day and pleasant day, everyone. Again, like, comment, and subscribe to Sports Side News and Steel Flyers. And stay safe out there and enjoy some Lehigh Valley Phantoms hockey. Thanks for watching this edition of the Ghostly Take. Peace out, everybody.